Good morning and welcome to Wake Up to Broker Up with Mark, episode number 39 for 2024. 39. It's almost over. Not really, but it's getting closer. Well, today is a mop up episode after the storm blew through and all the rain we had on Thursday and on Friday. You know what? It's time to reach out to your buyers and sellers that you're working with. Check in on them. Check and see how things are in their world. It's the perfect opportunity for you to reach out to them and do a well check. So if you're working with sellers on listings, go do a drive-by, especially if the property is vacant, especially if the property is on a basement. Check for fallen trees, check for damage to the roof, check the basement for leaks, check out the property, walk the property especially if it's vacant. Talk to the homeowner. Make sure there's nothing going on. And then if you're the listing agent and it's under contract, call the co-op agent. Send them an email. Send them a text. Reach out to them and establish goodwill and let them know in case they're not doing what they need to do that you are and that your property that you're representing and that's under contract with the buyer that they're working with is okay. And do that for all your listings, regardless of whether they're under contract or not. It'll pay off. It'll pay off twofold because one, you're going to be ahead of any damage that may be there that nobody knows about. And two, even if there isn't any damage, you get an opportunity to reach out to the people you represent. And if it's under contract, to the other side. Same thing if you're working with buyers. Go and check the properties if they're under contract, especially if they're vacant. Check the basement. Check to make sure that there was no water intrusion. Check to make sure there's no limbs stabbed through the roof. Make sure there's no trees down. Make sure there's no limbs all around the house that are bothering the house and making it possible for it to have damage, water damage. You've got the opportunity to not only be out there and be out front, kind of like the uh, power companies are and the linemen are, but you got an opportunity to cash in on that because you're going to call the people that you represent and you're going to let them know that everything's okay based on your visual observation. And then if there is something amiss, you're going to let them know and then you're going to figure out what to do and get that information over to the other side. It's a perfect opportunity. Now, one more thing I need to talk about, and this one's a little sticky. If, whenever, not if, Whenever you get a seller's property disclosure statement exhibit, whether it's back from a seller you represent when they complete it, or if you're representing a buyer and you get it from the listing agent, check it, read it. Before you send it to the person you represent, read the thing in its entirety and make sure all the check marks are checked and make sure all the explanations that meet, need to be on there because of the check marks checked are there. Make sure that it's complete. Make sure it doesn't contradict itself. We have some problems occasionally where it comes back to something went wrong and then we look at the seller's property disclosure statement and guess what? It might could have been figured out sooner. Hope this tidbit helps. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. Stay dry and mop up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.